Hi, this is Norm Hall, and today I want to talk to you about using the Bell & Gossett ESP SystemWise Pump Selection Program and show you how to enter new capacities for an existing pump. And this is part of a balancing series that I'm doing for the R.L. Deppman Monday Morning Minutes. So in the last blog we did, we identified that after a proportional balance, the contractor identified 58 foot of head with a pump set at 1675 RPM. And what we really wanted to do is get down to the design capacity of 1115 GPM. What speed do we need to get to? So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the existing pump submittal and we're going to identify that the model number is a 5EB. We're going to take a look at the impeller diameter which is existing at 10 and a half inches and the engineer identified that the control head required would be 24 feet. All of these are things we're going to check when we get into the program. So here's the ESP system-wise selection program. Start by selecting the variable speed option and the E1510. Then we'll move down and we'll enter the capacities that the balance contractor left the pump at. 1200 GPM at 58 feet and the system will default to a control head but we're going to change that to what the engineer originally specified which was 24 and we have a single pump so let's go ahead and click results doesn't take us too long before we get down there and here we have the pump that's at the job site which is a 1510 5EB E-series so let's click on that And let's scroll down here and we can see that the impeller diameter that the pump selection program selected was 10.5 at 1664 RPM. If these were different than the original selection that's at the job site, we would go in and change the diameter and the pump speed. So we know we're pretty close to the RPM. So let's go ahead and add speeds in here. And let's add 1600, 1550, and 1500 in, and 1450. We put them in right here under additional speeds and press enter. And the curve starts to get pretty busy, but we can see right now operation will be the intersection of this control curve and one of these speed curves. So at 11.15 RPM and we come up here, we're somewhere right between that 15.50 and 1600 RPM. Looks close enough to the middle that we're going to call it 15.75 RPM. All right? So that's going to be the maximum speed that we're going to set the drive at. If we take a look at the bottom of the curve here, we can see that at 0 GPM and 24 feet, the control curve ends at right about 850 RPM. So that's what we're going to set the minimum at. So if you'd like to know how to set this minimum speed and the maximum speed in a Danfoss drive or a Bell & Gossett drive, just visit our website www.depman.com click on the blog come down the index to variable speed here we are right here and there's several topics but let's drop down to this particular one right here where it says adjusting and in here we have a video showing you exactly how to set the drives 
for both maximum and minimum speeds. I hope you enjoyed this short video and thank you very much.